Hey guys, it's the new builder here, back with another video. And today, we're going to be reviewing LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 76107 Thanos Ultimate Battle. It includes 674 pieces, and it comes with four minifigs. Minifigs include Iron Man, Gamora, Star-Lord, and Thanos. So, let's begin. So on the front of the box, we have the, the new Ravager ship right here on the front with the minifigs outside fighting and the Infinity Gauntlet. So let's check the back. So on the back, you can see all the minifigs out of the ship. Here we have the extension that you could add, which is the pod thing that also came out in the Infinity War line. And the power burst used for Iron Man's thing, which are also pretty interesting. That's all I have to talk about the box, so let's move on to the instructions. So I must say, this instruction manual is pretty huge, and I feel like it's one of the biggest ones that I have. But Honestly, there's a lot of promotions on this, so let's look at them. So here we start off with the other Infinity War set and how it could be attached to the back of the set, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, I didn't pick this one up when it came out, but it was one of the sets that I had in mind when it, this Infinity War theme came out or wave. So on the next page here, we have the, the actual set, the one with the Thor and the actual part of the ship. We have the actual ship that you just got, that I just got, and another set that I reviewed, not that not that long ago on the channel. Of course, here are all the Infinity Gauntlets with Thanos. Unfortunately, I don't have all of them, but I'd like to get them all soon. So, yeah, this is something to keep in mind. And on this page here, we have another Lego Life thing, which I feel like is unnecessary. But over here, we have the Black Panther sets. So, I have both of these, and I reviewed both on my channel. So, if you'd like to go check those out, I'll link them down in the description. And that's pretty much it. So let's move on to the minifigs. So the first minifigure up is Gamora from the Infinity War line. And I have to say, this is one of the most detailed figures that came out in the set. Um, I don't remember seeing another Gamora. And I feel like it's it's a good minifigure because, I mean, this is my only one. And the hairpiece is really nice. The body's really well printed. It has printings on the legs. And it also has a dual face, and it's really nice back printing too. The other face being this one, which is also pretty good. I mean, I don't see a flaw in this. It's a pretty good minifigure, and yeah, it's it's great. I like it. So let's move on to our next minifigure. So the next minifigure up is Star Lord, and honestly, he's a great figure. Um, the blasters that he has are pretty cool, and I pretty sure he's the only one who uses these blasters they really go well they're molded well fine too one of the best um minifigures for this wave i mean i'm not a big fan of the guardians of the galaxy movies but the minifigures look up look pretty nice and they have good printings and such although the only flaw to this is that they should have added some printing to the legs of some sort so let's move on to the next minifig so next up we have this Iron Man, and I have I must say that this Iron Man is really a big disappointment. The only thing that distinguishes this Iron Man from any other Iron Man that came out in a few years, I mean, is the the backpack thing, which holds the thrusters, and that's really all, the only thing. I have two of these minifigures, and I must I just don't like it in my opinion. It just looks kind of weird. Although the back back thing is okay, so. I mean, it's just one extra Iron Man, but besides that, it's pretty much fine. Yeah, you could open up his front thing to see his face, so that's pretty great about it. Let's move on to the last minifig. So the last minifig we have is the big fig, and it's Thanos, and I'm honestly kind of disappointed with the way that they didn't give Thanos a way to keep take this off or something because we haven't gotten a Thanos with outer helmet and we've gotten like three variations of him and it's honestly kind of disappointing I mean it's it probably is difficult to do it but it still look nice and it would look better than keep putting on helmets on him honestly I think that's the only flaw to him and probably the fact that he has a butcher knife and it kind of looks random for no reason of course you could put on the infinity gauntlet on him and that looked really nice, so yeah, I guess that's fine. Honestly, 
I think it's the weakest minifig out of this set, so let's move on to the builds. So for the first build of the set, I have to say that the Infinity Gauntlet stand is pretty cool. I mean, it's a great concept and it looks really nice. Of course, this set only comes with one reality, with one stone, which is this one is the reality stone. But yeah, I mean, it looks fine. Un the only downside to it is that you can see the black clip from there, which is right there. But besides it, that this build is pretty um, basic and it's pretty cool. It's a pretty nice concept to it. So let's move on to the next small build. So honestly, this isn't a small build per se, but I guess it is because it's technically detachable. And I mean, it looks pretty nice. So basically it's lit literally a small transport for um, the characters. I don't know why they added this. I mean, they could have just attached it to the ship, but I guess they wanted to make something cool out of it. So they made this kind of hover transport. And honestly, it's kind of not on the good side. You could tell there's a lot of colors and stuff here. It just looks way too messy. Honestly, I mean, I mean, I couldn't really build anything better, but you could see the blue clip there and over here. There's just way too much inconsistency in the set. And yeah, honestly, this little thing is very basic. I mean, it's it's a cool concept again, but just not something I'd like to have in a set. So let's move on to the actual big build. So honestly, I'm not gonna lie, for the for the price of $48 in which I bought it for, honestly, the set is a steal. Obviously, it's less than 10 pieces. You get a good minifigure selection, and you get a really nice sh ship with a cool combination of colors. Of course, the ship has this really cool cockpit, which is nice, and since it's way too small to grab things out of here, they even made this part too, so you could easily just pull this out. Which is really, really nice addition. Although, I feel like they should have made more space in the front for more characters. And this one, this ship is way bigger than the rest. Of course, it's not bigger than the original Ravager ship that came out. But it's really nice and it looks really cool. I mean, its wings are way longer and the build in the middle is way too small. But it's, for what it's worth, it's fine. I mean, I guess it looks nice. And it comes with really cool stuff. I mean, there's a lot of things that look really nice in this. And I can't really name them all. There's this back door thing that you where the two seats are right here. But, I mean, those two seats just don't go to how it was in the movie. It just looks really, really weird. Of course, there's a lot of stickers. The sticker sheet was a pain. And I took me it took me forever to figure that out, so... Yeah, I mean, overall, if I had to say how much I would pay for it, I'd pay for a maximum of $50 on this set. Obviously, I'm not going to pay too much for it either. Um, If I had to rate it out of 10, I guess I'd say it's a 8.5. It's not that good, but it's good enough. I mean, if you're a Marvel fan, you might like the set. And yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a great addition to the collection. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say about it. So let's move on to the last segment of the video and let's end it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new around here, make sure to subscribe, make sure to leave a like on the video and make sure to comment down below what set I should review next. Thank you guys so much. Again, I built this set when I had 500 subscribers and that was a pretty huge milestone. But now I'm getting pretty close to a thousand. That's pretty cool. So thank you guys so much a lot. It means a lot. So. Let's keep it up and hopefully we get bigger. So, the new builder, peace out. Bye. Keep building.